Yeah, she popped the hole right in the side of her. She must have been a little bit hot. These wires are melted off. Lucky these are lipo. They're not lipo. They'd have been on fire for sure. I guess it's time to rethink what we're doing here. We had one of them batteries pop. I didn't have a great voltage on it. Don't know why it popped. I took unhooked it. There it is. There it is. She popped. Hmm. Man, oh man. Time to rethink this stuff. Well, YouTubers. She's an ugly mess. And that's what came out of there. Two batteries bit the dust out of that pack. And it looks like there was just another one or two ready to go, but I got a feeling that corrosion on one end was the cause of this. I can't prove that now because because it's burnt up. It's hard to know what to think anymore. It definitely was hot. Like I said, I got to rethink this, and this is what I thought to be a good pack. Only takes one bad battery, right? I mean, they're in 8Ps. So in that 8P, your BMS manages the 3.5... It was at 3.5 volts when it burned up. So, so the eight, 8 of those in parallel... You can only monitor the voltage of 8 of them together. So if one of them's bad, then that means the other seven have to make up the difference to get to 3.6. And I believe that's what happened in the heated up and uh, exploded. It got hot, but it didn't catch fire and it didn't run away. So thank God these aren't lipos. They're uh, lithium iron phosphate, which don't readily catch fire but they do explode and it popped about 10 feet across through pieces of that battery 10 feet across my garage I have to rethink this I think I'm going with the shed outside <laughs> put all my batteries in the shed and if there's a fire hazard it won't be near the house anyway YouTube I know I was warned and I've done everything I thought I could do, except monitor every cell, which is almost impossible with this design. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Yeah, here's what I'm talking about. You've seen it on the other video, the first part, but the. Uh, Corrosion gets underneath this cap here Underneath that little plate and pops the plate off the battery And then from there on things get worse, right? So I don't have an answer on on what we can do With uh, how to get that corrosion off there without tearing the batteries all apart and re Recompiling them into a, a new, whole new configuration. It's a bit of a shame. Most of them are good. But the only way to tell is to take them all apart. Check every cell. Make sure it's not loose. See there's one right there. And that, my friend, is what caused that other one to pop. These 8, 8 P, that's only four of them, because I cut it in half, but there was eight there. And now there's only really seven. So seven have to make up the voltage when you get it to the top end. They're over, they're over the 6.5. 
Anyway, just a thought for people that are looking. Thanks for watching. So I had originally put these in 5 series, 5P, so that I could um, deal with any bad cells. And Because the more cells you got in there, unless they're all bad, the better off you are that you'll have, you won't go over the top on your voltage. So I'm, I'm rethinking this and uh, I think five of these is no longer efficient or enough if the batteries are of poor quality. So I'd be better off to go with 16 of them in the whole rack at 40 volts and decide what to do with the 40 volts. But I'm, I'm still seriously considering putting all these out in the shed and a long way from anywhere near my house. Well, we'll have to see. Could have been a fluke, it could have been the way it's going to work. Anyway, I don't believe those boards work, so I won't be using them. Thanks for watching.